Hi guys, um, third week, third try at this. Um, let me just let you know uh, if you're missing any part of this, which I'm pretty sure you are, um, it is being recorded, so you'll be able to see it later. Um, to start off, um, if you notice the name of the show or what I put on Facebook was, um, it's going to be about sugar skulls. I'm going to do a male and a female sugar skull on myself because unfortunately my girlfriend's at work, so I can't use her as a model. Um, also, it says contest info. Well, the contest is for a convention that I'm actually giving uh, or that I'm hosting uh, April of next year. It's going to be 11, uh, April 11th through the 13th of 2014, and it's going to be held here in Bristol, Virginia. Now, if you watched uh, last week's video, um, I talked a little bit about it there. Uh, I do have a contest going on with it. Uh, scholarships are something that people look forward to when they're going to conventions because they don't have a lot of money and they want to be able to get there, you know, get free registration and stuff like that. Well, I'm doing it a little bit different. I'm going to give free registration plus hotel stay to whoever comes up with a really great logo for the Southern Appalachian Body Painting Jam that I'm going to have. Um, if you hear some noise in the background, it's probably my dog and cat uh, playing with each other. Uh, so just ignore them. Um, other than that, uh, I mean, really, you uh, I'll have all the information as far as the contest on my Catman Do Face and Body Art uh, business page on Facebook. So you can go there and you can take a look at it, and um, it'll give you all the details on how to do that. Uh, I'm still in the process of getting instructors for the convention for next year, and also I'm looking for sponsors and vendors who want to be there, and I'm working out all the details. Um, I want to really make sure that this is a really a vor ah. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that this is a really affordable. Uh, jam slash convention slash get together. Uh, I want everybody to enjoy themselves. So, uh, as I can see so far on this video, I only have one viewer, and that's me. Uh, hopefully, more will come in. If not, like I said, this video is being recorded, so you can um, go back and take a look. Now, Here's the thing. I actually put up some photos and different things last week as overlays, but for some reason with live stream, it doesn't record the overlays. It only records the video. So until I can work out how I can do that uh, with different software and stuff, um, if I pop up any photos, there, which I don't think I'm going to pop up any photos anymore. Um, so, you know. Just uh, <laughs> bear with me. Um, I do still have my live call in, so like I explained last week, I'll pop up the phone number. You can call me, and we can talk live on the air. Um, it will record it. People will hear you in the recordings and everything else like that. So, you know, that's fun to do. <laughs> <coughs> mm, excuse me. So I guess I'm going to get started with my tutorials on how to do a uh, sugar skull. Um, I guess I should tell you why I'm doing sugar skulls, and if you caught it on Facebook, the reason why I'm doing it is because this year at the Face and Body Art International Convention in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, hosted by Silly Farm, they are doing their opening welcome party as sugar skulls, so everybody's going to paint themselves as sugar skulls. Um, so we don't get any dings, let me, uh, turn off my email. <laughs> I keep getting dings and all kinds of stuff. So, they're having a Sugar Skull welcoming party on the first night of the actual convention down in Florida. So with that, I thought, well, I did a skull last week, but people are really interested in sugar skulls, and I've been getting a lot of requests for them, and I've done a few of them, as you've seen. Um, so I'm going to do a half female, half male sugar skull. Uh, 
show you the different techniques involved in it and what you can do. Sugar skulls are great because it could be anything you want. You just have to get the basics down of, you know, the sugar skull, but you can modify it any which way you want. You need to have the nose, you need to have the eye, and you need to have the teeth. Um, the teeth could be whole teeth with rounded tops or with spiky tops. They could be just lines like you see in a lot of them. The nose can be the whole nose. It can be a partial nose. It can be a shaded gradient nose. Uh, the eye, same thing, completely blocked out. It could be different colors. It could be whatever you want. And then you add in details around it of whatever you want. Um, all a sugar skull is, is it's actually a skull made out of sugar with decorations on it, you know, um, highlighting the eyes and the nose and the mouth and everything and just, you know, really popping it out as something ornate. So just have fun with it and do what you want to do. So let me see here. Show my number up here and I am going to go into Facebook real quick and see if I can't get a few people to join in the live feed. Um, so I'm going to place it on the Fabiac forum. I'm going to get my trusty keyboard. Fabiac, Fabiac, however you want to say it. As long as you know that it's the Face and Body Art International Convention. Live show has just started. Come join the fun. Am doing sugar skulls tonight. Now, I'm going to highlight that. Control C. To copy it I'm going to share that link <laughs> sorry I know this is kind of boring but I want to I want to get more people onto this live show I know it's gonna take a little while and it's only my third show but what the heck give me a second right here Okay. And for your information, they were supposed to have a live show with Alex Hansen uh, doing airbrush muscles and everything, but they had some problems with the internet, so... Uh, they had to record it and they said that they would put it up today and and it will show for a full week so I'm pretty sure there's some people watching that right now instead of watching me <laughs> but they can watch me instead I mean I'm live right now and uh well, they're not, and you can watch it over and over again for a full week because of the whole internet problem, but oh well. So, all right, let me get comfortable in my seat right here, and I'm going to start off with a feminine type sugar skull. Let me adjust my camera a little bit with a feminine type sugar skull on this side and then I'm going to do a male type on this side okay and uh, we'll see how it goes so let me just adjust myself here alright and you can see this side perfectly hopefully uh, the weather here is a little bit humid uh, I did take a shower before doing this so just be glad you don't have smell -o vision <laughs> Alright, so the first thing you do with anything is you get your white, which I know this is, I'm using my almost empty white, and it's got a little bit of gray in there from blending colors, 
but that's okay. I'm going to take my sponge, my nice half moon, with one of my girlfriend's hairs on it. Take that off. And I don't spray my stuff. I take my water and I just dip it in to where I get the edge of it what? Wet. And then I go into my paint and I pull it up. And I keep playing with that paint until it's at the right consistency for me. And this is going to go pretty quick. I'm not I'm not going to take a lot of time in doing this. And this is just the white base. Um, everything else is going to go on top of it. So I'm going to start off pretty much whiting out the whole face except for the eye. Part of the nose, don't need to worry about that. I'm just gonna white it out. So you see it's nice and white. Maybe a little bit splotchy to me, but on your end of the camera, you're not gonna see it. You're gonna see a white face there. So, and in fact, since I have the white here, instead of wasting it, pick up just a little bit more water. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more white. And I might as well do the other side of my face too while I'm at it. So I'm just going to white out the other side and oh, should have wiped my face first. It's a little moist. Kind of dab it, blend it in, make sure it's all one consistency. And something that will help, and give me just one second here. I had to turn on the fan since that was turned off. So just trying to make sure that it's all pretty even. The details are going to go on top and that's what's going to make the biggest difference. All right, so I'm all white. <laughs> all right, now, for the female side, I'm going to use red. Uh, for the male side, I'm going to use metallic blue. Um, the only reason I'm doing that, or no, I'm going to do red on the male side. I'm going to do metallic blue on the female side. And this is just to show you highlights and shadows and uh, what you can do with colors. Now you can add in more colors if you want. Um, I'm just doing it very basic, very simple. So I'm just going to be using two different colors. Blue on this side and then red on this side. And you'll see this is more of a masculine face that I'm going to do. And this will, well you'll see. <laughs> so first of all I'm going to take the sponge and I'm going to get all the excess off of it by doing my eye first and my nose. So with that, I'm going to create the shape of the eye I want for this sugar skull, even getting underneath the eye. Make sure it's nice, bold color. And then I'm going to do the nose. 
Don't worry, it doesn't have to be a perfect shape. Because I'm going to show you how to shade it and everything else. Now, with the excess that's on there, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create kind of a shadow for the mouth. Kind of blend it in. You'll see what I'll do with this. I'm going to do part of the temple. I'm going to do that little zygomatic area. So you have that. Very simple. This is very quick, very easy. You don't have to do a lot with it. Now, if you notice, they do flower petals around some of them, and I may do that with blending a little bit of my red with the white and make some pink for you so you can see that. Um, on the other side, on the male side, I'm not going to do any flower petals because I want to make it more masculine, so we're going to skip that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my number six, uh, Mark Reed, round. It doesn't have to be a Mark Reed, just number six. Um, round and I'm going to pick up some paint and I'm going to outline the eye and make sure I have a nice heavy thick line why you'll see in a second here Hi, Cheeky Smiles. How are you doing? <laughs> All right. I'm also going to outline the nose in the shape I want it. Nice, heavy, thick line. I'm going to do right underneath a little bit too, just to give it the shape. Now, now that I have those heavy, thick lines, I'm going to take my filbert, which is slightly damp, okay? And I'm going to just pick up just a tad bit of black from the bottom of my well, where there's not really any black whatsoever it's just whatever smeared at the bottom and I'm going to take and wipe it a little bit on my rag so I can get off the excess I just want it to be a little moist so that I can take it take the black part and kind of blend it in with the blue color this gives it a little bit of depth Makes it look a lot better too. And in fact, on a girl, I usually blend it a little bit into the eye for eyeshadow. So it gives more depth. Okay. And you can easily do under the eye too. So if you can see how that looks already. And I'm going to do the same thing with the nose. I'm going to kind of blend it in. Don't be afraid to use your finger if you need to help blend. It's not going to hurt you. So you have a nice blended black to blue. All right. Now everything else is pretty much. Um, make sure you wash out your brush before you try to pick up another color. Hey, cheeky! Let people know that I'm actually online and they can come live online. If they miss anything, they can easily come back and watch this. I am recording it, so um, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of red.
and just line the, uh, fill in the lips for the female. It can be any color you want. You don't even have to put lipstick there, but it makes it more feminine if you do. Um, I hope I hope this is uh, taking care of the people that wanted to see me do a feminine design. <laughs> I am going to switch to a smaller brush, a number four uh, Mark Reed round. Doesn't have to be Mark Reed if, it, if you don't want it to. <coughs> mm, excuse me. And I'm going to do the mouth area with the lines and everything and you can just watch at this point because there's really not too much explanation that I can do for you other than you know you just watching and taking what I do and um, you know elaborating on it and creating your own effect so this is pretty much just the detail work that can be anything that you want it to be Make sure I get up a little bit because I, hold on, let me see if I can ah, adjust my camera, no. There you go, you should be able to see it better, I'm sorry I have the um, stuff at the bottom so you know it's hard to see. So I did that. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the temple. And let's see. I want to do Spider web up there. And just to, you know, you can put like a rose in the middle, you can put a rose on the chin. I do a lot of tribal or designs, so. You know, I don't really do roses that well, so I try not to do them as much as other people do. But you can do all kinds of different things, like... Like that. And then with the teeth, I'm not going to do whole teeth I'm going to do starting from the corner of the mouth Just some little lines for teeth. And I'm just filling up the negative spaces a little bit. 
with some uh, different teardrops and designs. You can do whatever you want, however you want, to create the design you want. This is just what I do. So as you see, it's coming along pretty good. I'm just going to do kind of a teardrop flower just to <laughs> give it <laughs> the little center part. But um, also with the females is what they like to do is they'll take the filbert, you know, just slightly damp almost dry and they'll come in and right up here they'll kind of drag down the line and kind of blend it in give it dimension give it depth just dragging in the spider web a little bit Don't worry if you make a mistake, you can always go back and fix it. It's not going to hurt anything. <laughs> but I also told you I was going to show you um, how they do the flower drops uh, around the eyes. Because it just looks kind of bland like that. So I'm just going to take a little bit of red. Don't know where I can show it. There you go. And my white. I'm going to come into one of my sides here. I'm just going to make it pink. Nice pink color. If you can see it. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that white. Make sure it's a little wet. Not too much. Just enough. Okay, so I picked up some pink. And I'm going to start off with a teardrop or a little dot. I'm going to make the dots go all the way around the eye. I know it's hard for you to see. I'm trying to angle myself so you can. Just doing little dots. And you can outline them if you want. I don't. It takes up a lot of time to outline. So I'll show you what I do next. Now that I have that around the eye, if you can see it, I'm kind of looking at a small screen on my computer so I can't really see it that well but um if you can see it I'm then going to take just a little bit of white maybe pick up a little bit of that pink that I had and make it a lighter pink color and I'm going to go back on top of those pink and make it pop out a little bit more so I'm just going to take it and put it right into the middle of each of the dots that I've already done. Uh, I really wish my girlfriend didn't have a second job. I wish she could be here to help me out when I need it. <laughs> so. I know eyebrows get in the way a little bit, but there you go. That's just one type of sugar skull. There's plenty more. I mean, you can do whatever you want with sugar skulls and stuff. Um, so you can put a rose here. You can put a rose down here. You can do anything you want with that, however you want it and stuff. Um, it's just fun to do.
and no two are ever alike and you can be so creative there are a lot of people out there that do their own uh, sugar skulls Nix Herrera Donna Hofstey Athena Z um, Nick and Brian I think everybody's done sugar skulls uh, some of the best ones I've seen are by uh, Rebecca Anthony um, she's out of uh, Australia she's really good at sugar skulls uh, Mark Reed is really good at his interpretation of sugar skulls which are really elaborate and out there I mean awesome sugar skulls um, <clears throat> I know Marcella's done some Pasture has done a um, black sugar skull with light colors on top of it and stuff which was really neat to see um, Wiser has done some awesome sugar skulls uh, Jay Bautista has done some awesome tribal sugar skulls. Uh, Alex Hansen has done incredibly cool sugar skulls. So, you know, there are plenty of inspiration out there for you to um, pick a sugar skull. Now, one of the things that, you know, most guys have is how do I do a sugar skull without it looking feminine? Well, you define out the bones a little bit more. You make it look more masculine than you do feminine. You're not going to go with the red lips. You're going to go with more teeth. You're not going to go with the flower eye. You're going to go with something more tribal. You're going to pop it out with more masculine colors than you would feminine colors. You're not going to have a rose. You're probably going to have like a star or a skull or, you know, a scorpion. <coughs> Thank you. And, um, you're going to have something more masculine up there than you are going to have feminine. So that's what I'm going to show you on this side right here. <laughs> Thank you, cheeky smiles. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, for the male side, I'm going to use red instead. Because, you know, red is, you know, ah, blood, death. And everything so with this I'm gonna do it a little bit differently I'm gonna make sure that I pick up the red and I have it mixed in with just a tad bit of black that was on in the cake anyways uh, make a nice deep dark red so I'm gonna pick that up and uh, let me see if I can adjust myself here uh, yes I suffer for you guys <laughs> take off my no don't eat my shoes all right <laughs> this is very awkward for me but it's gonna allow you to see it better okay so first off I'm gonna do just like the other side I'm gonna do the eye I'm gonna do the nose And I'm going to do the hollow for the jaw. And then I'm going to kind of create the shape of the skull cheekbone with the shading. I'm also going to do the bottom of the jawline here with a little color. And like I said, you can mix it up. You can do whatever you want. But we're doing sort of almost like a real skull like in my last video. Um, but instead, this time it's going to be more of a sugar skull. So I'm going to pick out black. Just like before, we're going to outline the eye. Nice heavy black line. We always want it to be heavy so we have more to pull from than less to pull from. Because it won't look right. I'm even going to 
outline my nose. And heavy outline. The hollow. Now, taking my filbert. And my towel. Just damp. I'm going to do the same kind of shading. And after a lot of practice, you'll be able to get this done fast without, you know, spending a lot of time on the blending. It comes naturally after a while. You'll be able to blend those colors in nice and smooth. And I'm not going to worry about outlining the eye. You really don't have to worry about that on a guy. finger if you have to. Are you seeing it? I'm sorry if I'm a little bit too far over. Here, let me reposition myself. So we're getting the hollows, and I'm going to try to blend down along the bottom edge of the cheekbone. So it gives it a little bit more depth. Maybe kind of blend in my zygomatic. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to sweep it up. Just give myself a nice brow bone effect. Kind of softening up certain lines. Okay, so now that I've got pretty much my basic skull. Now I get to go in and I get to add in all kinds of details to it. So of course, you know, pick up my number six or no, my number four. This is where I'm going to do all the details. I'm going to do some teeth on it, but I'm going to make a more rounded teeth, more like a sugar skull would be. So I'm going to do just like this. And do my teeth more rounded. And I would do this all the way across if I was doing it on a, on a full face. Okay. Now with this, you can do tribal, you can do more curly cues. Even on a guy, the curly cues are still going to look good. They won't look bad. But kind of is what I do is I'll take where the brow bone is, go up to the zygomatic, and I'll do a swirly up there. Ha, ha, ha. And then probably maybe I'll do...
some teardrops coming down. See? I'll do another one just to fill up that void. So I'll do something like that. It still looks masculine. It still looks pretty awesome. Um, yeah, no, it fits right there. Maybe in uh, the corner of the eye, I'll come out and I'll make a little line there, and then I'll do a little tribal line. If you see, I mean, I know it's <laughs> it's hard to see it when I'm turning the other way, but bear with me. And um, probably I can do the same thing over here. Oops. Try to keep that void there. I just messed up and it kind of connected with my temple. But creating tribal effects. And they can be anything you want. I mean, you can even come up from the actual bone itself. And you can do... Lines coming up. This is anything you want it to be. It doesn't have to be anything set in stone. Um, probably down on the cheekbone part, I would probably do maybe an outline to start off. Probably do an S shape. Can you see that? Right around here. Maybe do some teardrops. Kind of do the same here. Any which way you want. You know, the funny thing is. My viewers are dropping. I started off with about 12 the first show. Um, I had four, maybe five the second show. And now there's only two viewers, myself and one other. Go figure. Where is everybody? Oh, well. They can watch it later. But with that, okay, come up here and I'll do... Maybe some teardrops and stuff. And that pretty much does it for the male side. Now, one thing I can do with this to really make it pop out a little bit more is rinse out my brush, pick up just some white. And I can come in and where there's the flower on this side right here. I can do spots on this side and not have to go all the way around, but just to give it some detail. And I can do the same thing on the nose too. I can start off, do something like a big dot, go into smaller dots, you know. I can uh, I can color a tooth gold if I want to. I can do <coughs> pretty much anything at this point. I can even color all the teeth a different color. I can even make them more white. So they pop out more.
and try to keep the white from the black if possible. <laughs> I know it's hard. It's, it's hard to see. It's hard for me doing this on both sides of my face in this computer. Um, but yeah, that gives you a masculine side over here. And then you have my feminine side over here. So those who wanted to see me do something girly, <laughs> you just got to see it. Now, is there any questions? Does anybody have any questions? Especially since we're down to one viewer and there's nobody else watching. All right. So, I guess I'll just cut this early. And I'll say, uh, for Cheeky Smiles, thank you for watching. Uh, for anybody who missed it, you can watch it again. It'll be up um, as soon as I'm done, so you can watch it directly after the show. Um, hopefully, this will grow over time. If you have any suggestions for me, please drop me a line. Put it in the chat. Put it, uh, message me, private message me, post it on Facebook, you know, where I can see it, uh, plenty of different places. Um, send me an email, click on my contact down below, uh, mm, of my website. Um, tell me what you want to see because obviously my viewers are going down and if I don't start getting more viewers, I might as well just stop doing this. But I enjoy talking to you guys live. You all said you enjoyed the first show. So if you want me to keep doing this, let me know. If you don't want me to keep doing it, I'll cut it off. Um, I'll only do live shows uh, whenever I get a chance to do them at festivals or something like that. Or maybe I'll just cut out live shows altogether. You let me know. I'm doing this for you. I'm not doing this for myself. Um, so thanks for watching. and. See you next Wednesday. Bye.